It's your guy who is never lying. Sometimes defiant, TP way the giant. Before I get started, man, let me just say this. I want you to look at how many subscribers I have. Y'all killing me with this shit. I gave y'all 30 years of my I want y'all to understand, man, I'm truly on the road to a thousand subscribers. That is my goal. Shout out to all of my subscribers that I have now. But as you can see, I got a lot of work to do. How can I get there if you don't subscribe? Subscribe, man. Come on, y'all don't get fooled by the numbers. You know I'm banging out the dope New York Giant content. And it's gonna be consistent. And when the season gets here, I'm telling you, you don't wanna miss it. So go ahead, man. Do your thing and go ahead and subscribe. But besides that, I'm a, I'm a fan of an organization that has produced a lot, a lot of great players and legends. And I'm always curious to know, who are your favorite New York Giants of all time? I got five for you. Here is my top five favorite New York Giants ever. I want y'all to keep in mind that I am not one of those guys who is just gonna go way, way back in time and pick somebody just because you're supposed to. I'm gonna truly pick the players that I have seen, the players that I have witnessed and in my time. So this is my personal five. I know you have your five. I definitely want to know your five, so please make sure that you comment your five below. Go so at number five. What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> what? Slap! We have the New York Giants all-time rushing leader, Tiki Barber. The other guy is Tiki Barber. That was L.J. Shelton that was being carted out for Arizona. Look at this run by Tiki Barber on the last play of the first quarter. Yeah, we talk about Mr. Outside. I'm going to hold on for Mr. Inside, but here's the guy who's turning the corner. Now, Tiki Barber was the start for me. I'm 30 years young, born in 1994. So Tiki Barber was not only the best running back that I have seen in blue, but he also was the beginning for me. Now, there's two things that I want y'all to understand why I rock with Tiki Heavy. One, Tiki Barber is from Virginia, all right? New York is my second home, but Virginia is my home. Everybody who know about Virginia know about Virginia. I always have a special place in my heart for Virginia Giants. Two, I'm a twin. I just remember growing up, me and my twin brother would always act like Tiki and Rondé. And twins, man, we just have a, a certain level of respect for other twins because it's one of those if you know, you know type things. And at four, we have somebody who is a straight superstar. Matter of fact, every time you hear the number one, three, you are not going to not think about this guy. He was electric. Any and every time he was on the field, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know who it is, man. Odell Beckham. Game of the Giants. It's resulted in his highest completion percentage of his career. And down he goes. It's Beckham getting loose. And he's going to take it the distance. 87 yards. Now look, y'all can say what y'all want about Odell. But if you are a New York Giant fan who witnessed him in his prom, then you know what that time was like. Now we see the one hand grab a little more frequently, but he was the master at the one hand catches. And I'm gonna go as far as to say he has made the greatest catch in NFL history. None of it was luck, it was what he practiced. It was a part of his game. Even the sauce that you see in players routes nowadays, I would like to think that Odell Beckham was the start of that. So I'm always going to wish Odell Beckham well, man. Once a giant, always a giant. If you know, you know. Number three. Now this goes to my favorite and the GOAT of quarterbacks in New York Giant history. Number 10. Better be a future Hall of Famer. Eli Manning. 
Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet. Airs it out down the field. It is. He brought two rings to the New York football giants. Eli Manning is the definition of clutch. When it felt like the world and the New York Giant fan base was against him, he just kept showing up to work, kept playing with heart, and he led us to two, two Super Bowl rings. He was a part of two of the greatest Super Bowl performances and games ever, ever. All in all, man, I will forever remember Eli Manning being a man of heart. This was back in the time, man, when people were straight killing quarterbacks. To see Eli Manning pick himself up and play ball and at times live under the shadow of his brother Peyton and just overcome, forever get a giant salute from me. That is my quarterback. It's my team. It's my quarterback. And at two, we have somebody who was a part of my favorite moment in New York Giant history. I will never forget when he caught the game-winning touchdown, got on one knees, kind of like the simple celebration that he was doing all that year, said his prayer. The crowd was going bananas. Manning loves it. Burris alone. Man, what a time, man, what a time. At number two, man, Plexico Burris. In the third quarter, Giants have it on the Jacksonville 26. Eli to Plexico, he's paying attention now, making people miss. Touchdown Giants there in the ball game. Another New York Giant from Virginia. <coughs> Everybody who know about Virginia know about Virginia. Yeah, that may have bumped him up a slot or two. But outside of Amani Tumor, I don't know a receiver that was more reliable than him. Even in my football days, man, I always did my research on receivers that had height. And Plexico Burris was always one of the receivers that I did my research and just stuck to watching his highlights. Still to this day, man, one of my goals is to get my hands on a fresh but old Plexico Burris, not Nike, give me the Reebok joint, jersey. So yes, Plexico Burris has that number two spot. All right, y'all, put y'all ones up. Put y'all ones up. This may not be no surprise. This is the GOAT. This is the greatest of all time. Lawrence the Hammer Taylor. Son, I, got to this. I just want to add, this is another New York Giant that's from Virginia. Everybody who know about Virginia know about Virginia. I mean, what can I say about Lawrence Taylor that hasn't already been said, man? One thing that I just want to put the exclamation point on is that there are no conversations about GOATs without Lawrence Taylor being involved. He completely just revamped that outside linebacker in position and just was a disaster. Just played the game with such a, a appreciated level of aggression that was just a thing of beauty, man. You can't be a New York Giant fan and not know who Lawrence Taylor is. No matter what generation, no matter your age, do your research. He is by far goaded in our book. He is the one player on this list that will forever just get his respect for what he has done for this game and who he was on the field. To be honest, this is the one player that I have never heard anybody say anything bad about. Everybody who I've talked to when it comes to Lawrence Taylor has always given him his respect. And that's just a testament to how dominant he was because being a Giants fan, you know, Giants players don't get their respect. That's my top five. This is my personal top five. I know y'all gonna be thinking I'm crazy for some of the names, but I want to know who is your true top five, all right? Not what the next man says, not what your dad has taught you, none of that. What is your personal top five, all right? Giant salute to you. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace.